right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters with similar height and reach. Here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Pantera. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. All right, so here we are, Madison Square Garden, this arena, not synonymous with winning when it comes to the NBA's New York Knicks, but certainly there have been a lot of big UFC moments here over the last year. No championship for the Knicks, but I'll be fighting somebody needs to take home a beautiful gold belt. Tonight, let's see how you perform in the world's greatest arena. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Nice jab by Lee. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down.
head kick lands and he's hurt. Effective punch there by Lynch. They're certainly getting after it early. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Real sneaky head kick gets in there. A oh, little single collar tie there. And they set it. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lou. He is all about that left kick to the body. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, that was not your scramble, folks. Going orthodox now. Big kick land. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. Oh, blocks the shot. Nice punch lands. Going to the body there with the right kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, that right hand is on point. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. With the right hand. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Knee to the body. Trying to stay in this fight. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Straight right hand now, just misses. Punch coming, it's blocked. Look at the investment that this young man is making to the body with those strikes. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Lee gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. Ooh. Oh, straight right. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Powerful leg kick lands. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Real sneak by the oh, All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. 
how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Well, he gets caught with that punch. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Doubling up on the jab. Just a slip there. certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Leg kick. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially. But now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Three minutes now to go in round two. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And they separate. That kick blocked by Lee. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And the takedown attempt. But he does not land it. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Big ball for the punch man. Now he gets back to range. Straight right hand, no good. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his finish. Go finish his fight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Goes back to that left kick once again. Body kick now by Lee. Look at the control of the posture as they land that knee. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big knee to the body! Single collar tie now. Oh, big punch lands. What a fight we got going on here! Placed in time kick there by Lee. Come on now. Let's move. Let's go. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent back. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Oh, there's a takedown attempt, unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent, defending the takedown, but now he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. You gotta go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him, to give him too much to process to try to get this fight to the ground. All right, single collar tie now. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. Lee gets caught with that punch. And now he's got the tackle. So the kicks to the body, certainly the big storyline in that previous round. DC, take us through the replay. 
he did a fantastic job of finding his spots. He was sneaking that kick right up under the elbow and landing those nasty body kicks. He did a great job of recognizing a weakness in his opponent's game and really taking advantage of it. Ready, fight. Ready. Third Ready. round underway. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Real nice body kick land. Oh, collar tie, beautiful punch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. the turtle in that kick. Most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. He lands a big knee to the body. Oh man, head to land. Big kick land. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Pretty good right hand. He blocked the punch. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Right hand on point. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Timing. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done. He's done. Woo! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 22 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got 